Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're going to be starting a new series. Unfortunately, I really did want to continue with the Cross Continental America series, uh, but unfortunately due to a corrupt Windows installation, it all went. I know it wasn't backed up to the uh, it wasn't backed up to the Steam Cloud. I didn't realize that uh, that they would back up, but then they they didn't. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately that is uh, that is a series that is done and dusted now. I did want to do so much more on it, but sadly, it's just not to be, I'm afraid. Uh, however, it does give us the opportunity to start afresh. Now, uh, where are we, Joe? Well, we are in Hull. This is a realistic map where it, uh, it has, it's called East Yorkshire. There's a link in the description if you want to play along at home. Now, uh, it's, yeah, it's a fairly small map, actually, compared to what we have been used to doing. So I don't think that we're going to be creating massive, great big long distance rail networks. I think it's more focused on commuter stuff, and I really want to build some cities here. This is more of a what if. Uh, map. So I'm not sticking to realistic this time. Uh, I'm going to be trying to stick to realistic in, in to a, a certain extent, sorry, to say we're not realistic at all. I'm not going to have Southwest trains 450s running up and down, for instance. We're going to try and keep it like the, the typical sort of vehicle you would find in the area. But obviously, depending on mod limitations, that is subject to change. Now, uh, now we got York up in the top left-hand corner here. It stretches down to Selby and Snaith. We've got the, uh, the, the Humber there, all the way down to Hull, uh, Withensee in the, in the uh, bottom right-hand corner there. And you've got Driffield, Hutton, Cranswick and Hornsey up in the top right. There's plenty of industries. I mean, we've got iron ore mines, coal mines. They look to be strategically placed like these oil, oil mines. Not oil mines, you blithering idiot. Oil wells. Uh, so we should actually get quite a bit of freight running. I'm uh, I'm quite excited about this for obvious reasons. Uh, this is an area that I semi know. Uh, I'm I'm not an expert on the area, but I'm uh, yeah. It's it's quite nice that it's a, a vaguely realistic area. Now uh, yeah, our main depot of operation is of course going to be Hull. Uh, because obviously that is the main city on this map. Although we do have York up in the corner here, so uh, yeah, but our main city is definitely going to be Hull on this, because, I mean, Hull... I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna argue with anybody, but Hull is definitely the capital city of East Yorkshire, isn't it? Or Humberside, uh, as it were. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I've downloaded a couple of UK mods. I've not really... Uh, I, I'm, I'm expecting something to actually crash the game here. Uh, have we got, uh, I mean it doesn't say it's a UK station does it? Oh you can change the height of the platform, that is very interesting. See that's going to be good. Uh, the year is 1850 so we're not going to put a load of catenary down. <coughs> Excuse me. But we do just need something don't we in 1850 uh, to sort of get some money flowing. I, I deleted that because I'm going to put a station there. Hull needs spanners and fuel. We could actually make fuel couldn't we? Um. See, I want Hull to start growing ASAP. Where can we make some spanners? Could also use the river, couldn't I, as, uh, as a sort of cargo and passenger transport. Uh, right, can anyone else see the spanner factory? Anybody at all. Uh, I know that we can make wood there. Um, still not seeing any spanners. Spanners up near York. Is that the... Oh, there's spanners down here near Snaith as well. Are they the closest places I can make spanners? Ooh, that might not work. Right, okay. So if we were going to do that, uh, we've got wood, wood, sawmill, and then we could take them down over through Gould to there. We, we could do that, couldn't we? Let's let's do it. Uh, ooh, what's all this stuff here? Ooh, it's quite a lot of exciting stuff here, isn't there, that I've, uh, I've, I've not explored. Right, okay. We're going to go with, can we can we scroll down on this? Nope, we've, we've just got these track settings. Right, okay. We'll have two tracks. 240 metres should do, shouldn't it? I, uh, I don't imagine we'll be running anything longer. Uh, and then where are we up here? So we're going for wood, which is here. Just realised as well we could have sent them there via, uh, via truck. Mm, could have done, but, uh, but hey, ho, oh, right, we'll attach you onto there. And then, ooh, plenty of uh, plenty of speed limit. What's this? This is high speed tracks. Do we want high speed tracks? Do you know what? Let's do high speed tracks because uh, 
No, no. We, we can't do high-speed tracks, can we? I, I, I don't know. I just want normal tracks. I mean, they are normal tracks. Oh, why are we in kilometres an hour? That's a disaster. Uh, right, hang on. Where are we? Kilometres an hour, miles an hour. Literally, every time I seem to load Transport Fever 2, it, uh, it, it kicks off at me. And it's, uh, it's changed everything back to how it was. Now, if we use a cheaper speed, or smaller speed, it doesn't affect how expensive it is. So we'll, we'll go with 75. Ooh, that's going to start a bridge. I'm actually hoping that with the recent updates to Transport Fever 2, we're going to be able to record in, uh, in 2K. Because before, I only ever recorded in 1080p. I mean that is uh, that's quite a quite a line. Good lord, what are all these bridges? What's that? Ooh, that's quite nice. Oh, if only that was down on the ground. Oh, hang on, now the line's gone altogether. Disaster. Right, okie dokie. Let's let's have a look at the old uh, the old contour layers. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a, a particularly typically easy way to go about that, is there? Right, let's go for a bit of 30 coming out here. I'm going to try for a few, like, normal speed limits. So, you know, like 30 coming into a station like this, I imagine would be pretty typical. See, these are going to be terribly slow, uh, terribly slow trains, first of all, aren't they? But... Do I want, you see, how much, what can I borrow in terms of loan? Is it just 10 grand? Uh, 10 grand, 10 million. It would appear so. What if I go for you flat, but don't go for a tunnel? What if we, it's, it's more than I wished to spend, but we'll go for it and see how it works. Right, okay, what are, what are you looking at? 2 million. We can we can tunnel under there. We can tunnel. Uh, I don't really want this bit to be a tunnel. I don't want to tunnel the whole way. You know what I mean. We'll, we'll go with like a little bit of tunnel. Tunnelage is fine, particularly given that we might have a line coming from Market Wheaton, 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 uh, Pocklington, Merton, and York. Could you imagine? There's like a high speed Hull to York connection. That'd be quite good. So that would uh, it'd give it opportunity to get over, wouldn't it? Now, what I am going to do uh, is, oh, we'll put it down here, the depot. Where should we put it? Should we put it at this side? Stick you there. Just, just like that, that'll do. Buildings shove a depot on the end. What's that? Train depot. Train depot. What's the difference? Is there a difference? I don't know, that one seems to have bits around it. Can we uh, can we just stick you down there like that? Wow, it's in like a, it's in a crater. Okay, fair dues. Uh, right, we need to actually get some money, don't we? First of all, so let's uh, let's Middleton on the Wolds. There we go, down to Market Wheaton, and you can be train Market Wheaton Wheaton number. Our first line. There we go. Right. Okay. What have we got? We've got a couple of a uh, couple of steam locos here now. Uh, two hundred and one, two hundred and ninety-eight. That would be better because it's got more uh, more power. We want something with the most power, don't we? Uh, right. Six three hundred and sixteen. Let's go with that one. Now it can do forty-five miles an hour. It is one million pounds though. So uh, right. Hang on. Have we got some? Some flatbeds. That is a flatbed wagon. What about you? Your hoppers. Gondolas. Uh, no, so it has to be. Oh, you see, you can carry everything. Oh, right, there we go. Flatbed wagon. A London Northwestern Railway. That's also London Northwestern, so that works quite well. Right, should we have... Uh... No. Just have a capacity of 40. There we go. And we shall set this going. Right, okie dokie. Oh, hang on. God, it's lagging a lot, isn't it? I'm assuming it's just because we've not loaded the map in yet. Are we... Uh, I sort of do a bit of that. Is that... Is that helping? No, I don't know. Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the, uh, the the fast forward on there and uh, and see how we get on. Right, come on. What's your max speed? 45 mile an hour. Well, that's actually quite good because if you remember the uh, starting at 1850, the max speed usually is 25 mile an hour, so it works. How many have you got waiting? At the oh, you've got. We've got quite a few waiting, actually. We could perhaps do with more than one train. That's a bugger, isn't it? I don't think we can afford more than one train. Right, well, before we run out of money, let's go with 75. We'll pop you out of there. 50 miles an hour, so we can... There we go, 50. That is sensational. Right, we'll uh, put you on 50. Lovely. Signals, uh, one way, yep. We're not going to bother with the auto sig because obviously this is the only passing place, isn't it? Uh, can we duplicate that? We're not going to have enough, are we? Oh no, what a disaster. I might have messed it up before uh, before we've even started. Right, okay, let's see. Can I add some wagons to this then? One, two, three, four, five. We'll have 60. That way you're carrying more, right? Obviously. I mean, we're going to need more than one of the things, aren't we, anyway, even with 60, so, uh, so that's all right. We're, we're not going to panic yet, everybody. There we go. Look at that, all the way down. Doesn't that look good? I mean, I know that I said we were going to try and keep it relatively realistic, running the uh, London and North Western Railway services. Nope. Funky going to try and get a, uh, a nice shot. Oh, we're under the uh, the long grass. Oh, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I'd get a nice shot of it emerging out of the tunnel. We might actually need to be this side, to be honest with you, because looking at it, there's a bit of a hill. Mm, no, maybe we'll, we'll stick with the original plan. There we go. Look at that. Coming out of the tunnel. I don't think that works. Let's try this side as well. That'll do. That'll uh, that'll absolutely do. Right, so if we are to... Yeah, this is where this doesn't make enough money. We're in, the, we're in massive debt. And then, uh, and then we end up losing. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? An absolute disaster. I, I can't see why we wouldn't be able to make money on this. I, I think that it's going to be... Yeah, I think it's going to be brilliant. Cubes, make. Let's see if when this chap gets down here, we have enough money to clone this train. Hopefully, we started off the Cross Continental America series with just one oil train, so I can't see why this wouldn't work. How much are we getting? Nine hundred and sixty-three thousand. Right. Okay. I mean, I think it's going to be. Uh, I think we're going to have enough, you know. Let's, uh, let's see if we can have another. Is this is this this Crampton thing? No. Yeah, obviously not enough money there. Could we not duplicate the loco? Oh no, because the loco costs over a million pounds, doesn't it? Good lord. I'm just hoping it the uh, the demand doesn't dry up. Because obviously there's quite a lot stored there now, isn't there? That is something we're going to need to work on uh, Work on shipping. Perhaps we could do it... Well, is there anywhere nearby that requires wood? No. Of course there isn't. Right, wood might not have been the best one to start with, you idiot. Although, to be fair, you know, we, we might just be able to do this. Come on, turn around, get back there, get some money made. Yeah, it's not the quickest, is it? Although, to be fair, I don't think we're going to be breaking any land speed records, are we, at uh, this particular time in history? Lanshu, 1851, this probably is a land speed record. The people of East Yorkshire haven't, uh, have never travelled at 45 mile an hour at this point in time. So, you know, I, I guess I'm, I'm there like, ooh, we're not going to break any records, but I, I, we probably are. 
The good news is we must be making money because don't forget at this point on the last delivery we were in the red, weren't we? So uh, we're, we're better than what we were. How much does it make per delivery? 963,000, right, okay. Well that is good, because obviously now we'll be, we'll be near a million. Now, can we, can we clone you? No. Right, I'll, uh, I'll let him do his thing for a little bit, and I'll be back when, uh, when we can clone him. Righty-o, so we have been making some money, which is good. We, uh, I mean, if you look at the account balance at the bottom, you can see it's six grand. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's not exactly what you call earth-shattering, is it? But uh, you will notice we now have two trains. Now, this first one does uh, have 15 wagons on the back. This one only has 10. We can only afford 10, but it is another train in the circuit. It's more goods been delivered. So uh, we're going to keep that on fast-forward for now. Eventually, we'll add that up to the full capacity and uh, yeah that is uh, I mean for some reason this isn't filling all the way to the top it keeps going down I didn't think it used to go down unless you shipped somewhere else I mean obviously now it does because <coughs> I seem to remember a time when you'd ship loads to here and then the demand would just stop because this was full uh, does, does anyone who's better at transport fever than me know if that's changed, because, uh, you know, it, it never used to be like that. I'm assuming it will, obviously, it is now. But, uh, but yeah, it is a good thing, because it means we can keep flooding it down here. And uh, and that is good. This is producing as much as possible. But we're not actually pr uh, transporting as much as we could. But never mind, we'll, we'll keep going on here. Now, that does need smoothing and sorting a little bit, doesn't it, there? But, uh, but we can get that done in due course. The year is 1855, so uh, it's taken a few, uh, it's taken a while to get everything hunky-dory, hasn't it? But it's not the end of the world. This guy's going to end up stopped, isn't he? Yeah, the, uh, he's not going to be out of the way in time. He is going to be out of the way in time. Lovely, lovely. And what we need to do now is make a move down towards the tools factory, which is a long way away. Hmm, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's not a good thing. Hmm, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, that, that is what I want to do. But are we going to find that we have, uh, we're going to have an issue doing that? It's, it's going to cost a lot of money, isn't it? Bearing in mind how much that cost us. But then again, we did build that sort of as the crow flies. Which this early on wasn't such a great idea, was it? What we could do is use the money to upgrade this. Uh, we don't really have that much money, do we? Hmm. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll leave them doing what they're doing, like I say. I think what we'll do next is we will expand into Hull. We'll use our, uh, our Hull operations. 25, there we go. Oh, we have no money. We have no money, everybody. I mean, it hardly should come as a surprise. We're, uh, we're skint, aren't we? What's going on over here? Have we got a, a train ready to drop off? Ah, yes, I forget. He accelerates much faster than you, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to keep catching you up, isn't he? Oh, it's a disaster. I tell you, it's an absolute disaster. I mean, that's not going to make 900 grand, is it, with the, uh, with the other train, but... It might give us enough money to, uh, to set up a little bus route down to Ferriby. It might do, it might not do at the same time, but, uh, you know, 349, come on, let's, 369 even, let's have enough. Right, that's going to work, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that, yeah, 116,000, it's quite a lot of money, obviously, but, uh, but it's, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So, what we'll do is we'll have a bus station there, and bear in mind, at this point, we're going for nice and cheap, aren't we? So, uh, we'll stick you there. Right, go back to being full uh, full pace, full chat. Where's our line gone? It's there. Right, our, uh, our big train is coming back along the line. Obviously the uh, the time is racing by, particularly early on I am going to keep the time fairly uh, fairly high speed, just because the trains take forever to get anywhere. And, uh, and also, don't forget, there's 
a lot of you probably won't be that interested in Steam. I'm not really that interested in the Steam era either. So uh, it's it's one of them, isn't it? You know, it it's uh, it's a nice era to play through because everything's quite slow paced. It just gives you time to sort of get yourself get yourself up and running really before all the funky fast stuff comes along. But uh, but yeah, it's not an era that I want to spend an enormous amount of time in. Come on, 900 grand. Let's have it. Whee! Right, so we're going to put some bus stops in. There we go. We'll have another one there. And then I have got the in passengers to the industry turned on, so we'll have that there. And then uh, we'll have another bus stop in North Ferriby. Now, I want the, uh, the bus depot to be in Hull, obviously, because it's our base of operations. And we will have a line... One, two, three, four. With me having the uh, passengers to the industry turned on, it, what it also means is that we have an incentive to run buses between towns. You know, because we will have trains between the towns, but if we have buses as well, that, that is an extra little incentive, isn't it? So, Hull to Ferriby. There we go. That's Avia. How many vehicles are we having? Well, the question is, how many can we afford? We'll have 10 for now. Bus, hold to Ferriby. Go on, get generating some passengers. And I think we'll probably get quite a bit. We also want uh, want some passengers up to Beverly. Uh, I might also look at a boat, maybe, to Barton and Humber. This is obviously pre the Humber Bridge, isn't it? Hmm. Could we... Uh... Yeah, I could really have done without demolishing that road, couldn't I? That, uh, that, that we uh, demolished earlier. Have we got anybody dropping off anytime soon? Hmm, shortly. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time to generate the demand, isn't it? But, uh, but we can do this. Right, attach you to there. And if we attach you to there, that is looking good. Now, another bus station in Beverly. I'm really hoping this makes money. <laughs> really, really am hoping this makes money. Because if it doesn't, this could literally be the, uh, the the nail in the coffin for us. There we go. And then if we have a bus stop there. Another one there, so it can kind of go round the houses. It means that this will be the main terminus, won't it? Nope, no, got the other one at King Street. There we go. Up to Mill Road. Yep, lovely. Again, I'm keeping the bus stops fairly far apart. <coughs> Excuse me. Just means we can focus everything at one bus stop, doesn't it? Uh, so, bus hull to Beverly, whoever she is. Right, we've already got 10 passengers waiting. How many have we got in Ferriby? 17, so this is this is quite a high... Well, it's a popular route, isn't it? Let's have another 10 on the Beverly run. And then what we will have is... Uh, hmm, do we want another 10 on the Ferriby run? Shall we, shall we go for it? Shall we just go for it and see what happens? Yeah, 20. Go for it, chaps. Bring passenger transport to East Yorkshire. I've just realised the cargo is running ahead of the passenger, isn't it? I think the cargo always does, though, to be fair. How are we doing here? We're not in danger of filling up, are we? Hmm, getting there. What about the uh, the financial aspects of this line? Well, obviously, that is going to be uh, the, the best line out of it. Hull to Ferriby, got quite a few passengers on, though. I don't think the Beverly stretch is going to be as busy, but then again, it's not as far, is it? So, uh, we won't need as many buses. Oh, look at this lot here. Filling up. How many are waiting? Green Lane? Where are you going? Uh, Green Lane, is that... Oh, no, that's Upper Hull. Ah, so they're all going out of town. They're obviously spacing out, aren't they? And, and that's okay. 
I just could do with them making some money. Don't start losing money, whatever you do, or we're going to have an issue, aren't we? Come on, everybody in. Of course, all these vehicles have been redesigned. The horse and cart looks completely different. What's this on the back? That never used to be there, did it? Yeah, they've all been redesigned since the latest update, so uh, that's, that's definitely interesting. I like that. It's nice that it's been redone. Hmm, these really are losing a lot of money, aren't they? Might not necessarily have been such a good idea. Hmm. Come on. Make me money. Well, that made one and a half grand. Hey, dearie, dearie me. It's been quite a while since I started in 1850, hasn't it? I mean, we, we did in... Did we start at 1850 in cross-continental America, or did we start a little bit later than that? I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly going to take a little bit of time. A um, little bit of time to just get things moving, isn't it, really? What I might do while we're here, while we've actually got a little bit of money, is just upgrade you. Hmm, can't fit that many on. You can fit more on, though. 13. Better than nothing. We'll be able to do the whole lot when uh, when he arrives, won't we? And then at least we've got two full-length trains. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's where we're looking at. We do need to go down there, because, uh, you know, that's going to earn more money. The freight is going to be, I think, where our money's going to come from. Passenger, are we... Uh, you see, they are both losing... Then again, that's got 71 out of 80, so I, I just don't get how it could make money. Maybe if it was a little bit faster. Yeah, I could see that, maybe. I don't know. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's go to you. Five variants, and we'll have another two. There you go. 15. You can... There. You, you're both exactly the same now, so I want no, uh, no messing about from either of you. We've got the uh, London North Western Railway DX Goods. It's again Beverly. A lot of passengers waiting. All the buses do appear to be overcrowded, but I mean that Hulter Ferriby bus is starting to make a bit of cash. Well, it's not. It's sorry. I shall rephrase that. It's losing less than what it was earlier. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's not losing as much money as it was earlier. Uh, oh dear, you know. We could do with maybe unlocking some, some sort of faster bus. This could take a while. See, most of the buses are losing. But then look, it was on minus 30 grand. It's now not on minus 30 grand. So that is, you know, it's positive. Any time now, the Hulter Ferriby bus is... Oh, there we go. It's leapt into the blue. Where else can we do buses to? I don't know. It might not be such a good idea putting any more buses in for the time being. Because, they, you know, I know that they're earning, but they're only earning a little bit, aren't they? I mean, that's more or less full. Could we do with more buses on there, do you think? Mm, I don't know. A little bit, of, little bit of a loss leader might not be such a bad thing. Yeah, look at that. There's loads of people waiting. But then again, I, I don't know if these have spaced themselves out yet. They probably haven't, have they? So we'll, uh, we'll we'll leave that as it is for the time being. Where else are we going to go? You see, we've got plenty of other stuff like food around Selby. Uh, York is another one, but York has got two of the most complex goods uh, to provide. I do also hope I've left the settings on. Merton doesn't actually want goods at all. Ah, so it only seems to be that market waiting over there. A lot of these smaller places don't want goods, so they must have no cargo places. Look, they just want passengers. I see, that's that's interesting. I didn't notice that at first. But, uh, yeah, right, well, that is where we are going to leave it for today. I do hope you enjoyed that. It's going to take a little bit of time to get off the ground, and it might be a little bit slow at first, but stick with it, folks, because I really think we could have a good network here.
Uh, in the next episode, well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to let those kind of run, make a little bit of money, maybe bank about five million or something like that. And then in the next episode, we're going to have a go at uh, taking some wood down to make tools. So, uh, yeah, like I say, stick with it and uh, fingers crossed. We're going to get there eventually. So yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do uh, remember, please do remember, please do remember to click that like button. It's always appreciated. Let me know in the comments if you've got any great ideas, if you've noticed anything, uh, any of the towns you'd like connecting, any fantastic ideas. Like I said, I think something from York Express to Hull is going to be on the card. So we're going to obviously have the line that goes through Ferriby, Broomfleet, Wrestle to Selby. That's a real life line. Uh, then the line to Ghoul and Snaith, um, of course up to Driffield. But yeah, we, we've got all this for fictional lines around here, which I think is going to be really awesome. So uh, like I say, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss out on all that exciting uh, business that I've just discussed. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.